Find the value of the angles A, B, C and D, given reason for your answer. So we've got this angle here is 34, this angle here is A, this angle here is B, this angle here is C, and this one is D. Now, there are more than one way of doing this, but we've got to remember that these two lines with arrows on indicate that the lines are parallel. Parallel means that they never get further apart or never get closer to each other. They always remain the same distance apart. So, in the first case, we've just got these two angles adding up on a straight line. So we can say that A plus 34 is equal to 180 degrees, and the reason being the sum of the angles on a straight line are... Sorry, is 180 degrees. So, we've got this angle here. Now, there are several ways. So, A will be equal to, sorry, 180 minus 34, which is 148. Now, if we draw this line in here, we can see that A and B are what's known as alternate angles. They're all alternate angles. It's sort of got a Z here, a Z. Sometimes they're known as Z angles. Okay, so B will actually be equal to A if the lines are parallel, and this is, they, these are called alternate angles. So therefore, A is equal to B. It's 146 because they are alternate angles. Now, there are now three methods from this we can actually now find C. One method is to do B plus C is equal to 180, because they're on a straight line. And that's going to give that 180 plus C is equal to, sorry, 146 plus C is equal to 180. So C will be 34. That's one method. Another method is that C will actually be equal to 34. We can say it directly because it is corresponding to these angles. So these two angles here are equal. This is known as corresponding angles. All right, we can also say something like that. This angle here would also be equal to B, because that's corresponding. This angle here would be equal to D, because it's corresponding. And this angle here, A, is would be equal to uh, this one here, because it's corresponding. We get what's known, sometimes they're known as F angles. The third method is to say that these two here, these two here add up to 180 degrees and they're known as co-interior or allied angles. And therefore we get 146 plus C is equal to 180, C is equal to 34. Now if you're doing a problem you only actually have to do one method only, just to show you for the purpose of your understanding that I've shown you all three methods here. Now, for finding D, there are actually two methods. D is actually equal to C because they're not what's known as vertically opposite angles. When lines cross like this, opposite angles are actually equal. So we can say straight away that D is equal to 34. Or, let's just label that. So those two are vertically opposite. Or, because these two are on a straight line, we can say that D plus B is equal to 180 degrees. Because the angle's on a straight line, we know that D plus 146, because we've already calculated this to be 146, is equal to 180, and that will also give that D is equal to 34. Okay, so this has been a video to show you about angles between parallel lines. Uh, remember, sometimes there's more than one way to actually calculate the angle and to give the reason. Normally, you're asked to calculate an angle and give a reason. Only one method is really required.